I'm gonna teach you exactly how to set an appointment off of a follow-up. This is extremely important for two reasons. Number one, over 90% of your business comes from follow-up. Rarely is it gonna come from the first interaction. And number two, if you're doing it wrong, you're gonna be training your leads to not answer your phone calls anymore. Think about how many leads of yours have ghosted you. They're not picking up your phone calls anymore. Why? It's because you've trained them not to pick up your phone calls anymore. You want, you need to stop that. I'm gonna give you a bad example and then I'm gonna give you a good example and then break down exactly how that works. So two weeks ago, I received a call from my title sales rep. I recognized the caller ID, so I picked up and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And the title rep says, hey, Aaron, hey, man. No, oh, man, I've been having such a busy day. Uh, just driving around meetings after meetings after meetings. And at this point, I'm like, what's the point of this call? Why are you telling me about your day? Then he starts to say, anyway, yeah, man, the market's been a little crazy, uh, blah, 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 useless information. And uh, I just wanted to check in. And at this point, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm irritated because it was like 10 a.m. I'm prospecting on the, my mojo dialer's running on the other line. And this guy called me for that. To pick up a call and have someone waste 60 seconds feels like a long time. And this guy gave me the worst follow-up call that I've ever received in my life. And now I'll never answer his phone calls again. But when I think back, this is exactly how I used to follow up with people. And I know for a fact that most agents follow up like that. Hey, you just checking in on you. You still wanting to move in six months? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, is there anything I could do for you now? No. Okay. Well, just wanted to check in. Useless. Incredibly useless. You're just bothering them at this point. They're never going to pick up your phone calls again. So if you're doing this, you need to stop. Here's exactly how to follow up. Your intent should be to set an appointment based on solving their problem to get them to their motivation sooner. The script and framework is actually identical to my previous video where I showed you how to set a listing appointment. So it's, it's almost the exact same thing. Really, the only difference is in the intro. Because in the intro, you need to mention their motivation and establish familiarity very quickly. Hey Chase, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. Last week, we spoke about your move over to Texas. Is that still the plan? So in one sentence, I established that I know you, I know your motivation, I know your plan. Is that still the case? And from there, they'll say, yeah, that's still the plan. And then the rest of the dialogue is exactly how you set a listing appointment. It's exactly what I taught you in the previous video. From here, the lead can say, yes, that's still the plan or no. If they say yes, you say, okay, great. Chase, what's stopping you from moving there now? And then you address the problem, pre-close them and close them. Just like I showed you in that deep dive I made on my exact script to booking 30 listing appointments a month. I included the link in the description. If they say no, you do the same thing. You dive into the problem and try to resolve it. Okay, that's uh, that's a surprise, Chase. You seemed very excited about moving to Texas last week. What changed? Uh, we got some money issues right now. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it sounds like this needs to make financial sense, Chase. What exactly needs to happen with the money thing? Or, or whatever. You need to solve their problem and, and you meet about solving that problem. So the follow-up script is extremely similar to the listing appointment script. You just have to establish familiarity and their motivation in the very first sentence. That's it. If you understand how to do this, you become a valuable asset to all your clients. You are someone that's willing to give solutions to someone's obstacles every time you call. And that makes you valuable. After I implemented this, I know that if I call someone that's motivated to sell their home, I have an extremely high chance at landing and listing appointment. And that kind of security and consistency in your business is going to completely change your life. If you want to learn directly from me, I opened up an eight-week coaching program called the Converged Academy that's designed to help you take one to four new listings a month. Inside, I teach you everything you need to know to create a consistent listing business of your own. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description below at conversionacademy.com. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you got value out of this, and I'll see you in the next one.